I'm going to create an image gallery using ChatGPT. I've told it code a React TypeScript component that can be used as an image gallery. The images will be defined in an array of objects with properties image path, thumbnail path, and tooltip text. The gallery will show the thumbnails. When I hover over a thumbnail, I will see the tooltip. When I click on a thumbnail, I will see a modal pop-up with the image which will be scaled to 80% of the width of the page and maintain the aspect ratio. The modal will have a close button on the bottom. When I click the close button in the modal, the modal will hide. The page will use CSS to be responsive. Each thumbnail will be 20% of the width, which will include a 20 pixel margin. Here we go. So it's generate, generating the React TypeScript component. And it is explaining to me that uh, I'll need the CSS. So it didn't actually render the um, CSS yet. So I'm going to create my React component using Vite. Vite is French for quick. And it's pronounced Vite, not Vite. So I'm specifying React TypeScript here. And I'm going to open the gallery folder I just created in VS Code. And I can see there's an error, and it's because I haven't run npm install yet. Okay, so the error has gone away. Now I'm going to run the server and copy paste the local IP address, and this is the default page. So now I'm going to create a new file, gallery.tsx, and copy-paste in the component that ChatGPT wrote for me. And I see that it's missing tooltip and set tooltip. Now GitHub Copilot suggests adding this use state, which is exactly the code that I wanted, read my mind. So I accepted that. Next, I'm going to delete this default code in app.tsx. I don't need the counter. And I'm going to import the image gallery that the code created for me. And add the component. Now, GitHub Copilot is suggesting this. Again, it's reading my mind. <laughs> and so I don't have to actually code any of this. GitHub Copilot is, is suggesting, and I'm just accepting what GitHub Copilot is inserting for me or is suggesting. And it knows the that this is um, this component takes an array of objects and it knows what the properties of the objects are so because of the uh, interface so I copy pasted that five times but broken images so I'll delete all but one and then remove um, the data that it inserted for me now I copied over the um, images into this mid journey folder uh, these are the large images and these are the thumbnails. These are images that I created with Midjourney. Uh, these are characters from The Long Walk by Stephen King. So those are AI images. So I'm creating an image gallery for AI images using AI to create the code. It's kind of like all artificial intelligence. So because there's no CSS, um, it is working. When I clicked on the, um, when I hover over the image, I saw the tooltip, and when I clicked on it, I saw the larger one, but it still needs CSS. But for now, I'm going to get a directory listing of all the PNG files. I'm going to get a bare listing, order by name, and redirect the output to a temp temporary text file. Then I'm going to copy the object just so I have it as a, as a reference when I'm typing my text macro. I'm going to say macro start macro. This is notepad plus plus. Then I'm going to record myself. I copied um, Abraham 1 and then typed the object. 
and then stop the cursor for the next one. And now uh, I stopped recording and now I can play back that macro and you can see it's it wrote the same object but with Baker 1. And now it's doing Barkovich 4 and DOM 1 and DOM 2. So I do it for all of them. And this is a great way when you have um, to repeat some keystrokes, you can save a lot of time with macros. So I copy paste that into my code. See how it looks. Okay, good. Now we're seeing all the thumbnails. But when I click, it it still there's no um, CSS for this yet. So when you click, it still shows the large image at the bottom. But the close button is functioning. So now I'm going in, and you could you can pause and read this, but I'm telling it, please add the CSS now. So it says, here is the CSS that you need. And it re-renders the component. So it's made some changes to the component. And I, I pasted that in. And now I'm going to add a gallery.css file for the CSS. And copy-paste that. But then I noticed that it didn't finish the CSS. So then I asked it to continue. And it said, sorry, I accidentally cut off the CSS. Here is the rest of it. So then I copy pasted the CSS and the rest of it. Save that. Now I have to go back to gallery.tsx and import the gallery CSS file. And let's see how it looks. All right, good. Now it's looking more like a photo album, except the tooltips are not quite what I want. Now when I click on it, it's um, displaying, but uh, it's not scaling the image properly, so it's way too big. So I told it to modify the TypeScript code so the tooltip text is um, now, instead of a tooltip, it's now centered above each image, and we're going to rename tooltip to title. And so it generated the new component and the new CSS. Now here it is, and we're not seeing the uh, the title, and I, I took a look at the before on the left and, and what I had previously. Uh, the before is on the right and the new stuff is on the left. So because I got a new component, it didn't import the gallery CSS file. So copy that over and you can see tooltip got renamed to title, and it removed other code that I no longer need. When I refresh, um, I can see that I'm still not getting the titles. There's no title text, and that's because in app.tsx I forgot to rename tooltip to title. So rename that, refresh, and now it's looking much better. So I've reordered the uh, data, and I made some CSS tweaks, and I'm done. It's looking good. And um, this was mostly done with AI, with some slight tweaks by me.